glove on today? He didn't acquire a Rob Henry injury, did he? Or is that trying to help him with snaps of any kind? Help him with the snaps a little bit. See, I mean, I've, that's been a, has that been a little bit of an issue in spring? Or? It's, the ball has come out a couple of times. And uh, I know Coach Noor recommended that he put the glove on and his hands had gotten sweaty and put the glove on and maybe create a little more surface for it. He's working out. Better. He's real good today. <laughs> He didn't have any exchange issues today, so just you need know, to try things out in the spring. Right. It's not a fad. It's not a fashion. It's not a fashion <laughs> well, statement. Okay. I didn't know if all your quarterbacks would be no, wearing gloves no, now. No, no, not a fashion <laughs> statement. But it has a functional purpose. Speaking of fashion, oh. I just talked to Normando, who is a, his major is fashion, not exactly fashion. I can't remember the name of the major is. But is that interesting for you? Have you ever had a player who is? Maybe either, I'm sorry, either right. majored in that or been really interested in fashion that you know of? I know a lot of, had a lot of players who were very fashionable, <laughs> okay, and, and thought they were trendsetters as far as fashion goes, but he may be the first uh, uh, fashion major, fashion design major that I've had. It's a, it's a great field here at Purdue. Does he give you fashion advice? No way. <laughs> Miss Miss Sally dresses me. <laughs> so blame her. Blame her if I'm not cool. You're about... Ten days out from the spring game, I mean, how many like really hard scrimmages do you plan between now and then? Not very many. I had scheduled to go uh, Friday, and then uh, Monday we scrimmaged some, and that was a day that on the uh, calendar uh, allowed us to have 100% tackling if we wanted it, but I didn't want it <laughs> from an injury standpoint. So we got some scrimmage work in, and uh, today was a 50% or less tackling day, and and we tackled less than 50%, but had a good day. And then we we're actually going to cut back a little bit on Friday. We'll go a little bit shorter, uh, give them the weekend off, you know, try to get them uh, refreshed and recovered and then really finish strong on, on, uh, on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday of next week. But uh, I've been very pleased with it, but they've hit a lot. They've hit a whole lot. We've done a lot of one-on-one -on -one competition drills, you know, the old uh, Oklahoma drills and you know, the little guys getting after each other and, and, and with perimeter blocking and a lot of one-on-one -on -one pass rush and mix pickup and a lot of physical stuff in practice intentionally. That's yes, what you do this time of year, but they're wearing down a little bit. Have you decided any kind of format for the spring game yet? Not yet. We'll see where the numbers are at, but we're going to, we're going to do something to allow them to compete and something that the fans would enjoy. I'm hoping that we have enough people out there to line up and play a real game. We had enough to do the steak and beans scrimmage a week ago, so odds are we'll have enough, but barely, barely enough. How are some of the guys who, like Brandon Cotton, and I guess you talked a little bit about Peters, but some of those guys who you thought maybe would be limited from an injury standpoint, I like the, the progress that we've made, and uh, for obvious reasons, we haven't taken any, very many chances. There's different, uh, uh, different status of, of injury where you're out on a report, and there's some guys that are out, and there's some guys that are go, and there's some guys that are out but limited a little bit, meaning the sports medicine staff works those guys, and they'll maybe sprinkle them in a drill or two, and there's some guys that are go but limited, meaning that their coaches have them, and they pull them out of some drills, you know. So uh, some of the guys, their status has changed some throughout the course of, of the spring, uh, but uh, we've had a lot of guys that are on the injury list. Peter's dry. Uh, he's able to get some reps. Uh, he's uh, 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 a go but limited, mm -hmm. so we keep him out of a lot of drills. Uh, Cotton is completely out. He is yeah, he, he's not going through any – uh, the, the practice uh, okay. segments, and that uh, a lot of the guys are getting sprinkled in. Uh, Henry's out, but limited. Cottom's out, but limited. Uh, Ralph is out, you know. And then we have Peters Dry; is he's a go, but limited. And, and some other guys are go, but limited. But uh, we've taken some uh, for some precaution, and, and, and I think it's going to pay off for us next season. How realistic is it that Ralph could potentially get back for the start of the, the season? I don't know. Uh, you know. I'm optimistic in some ways because Ralph is optimistic. And then I look at where he was at last year, you know, coming off his second ACL. And then at the beginning of the season, he was a good player for us, but he was really out of his football conditioning. You know, and football conditioning, playing wise, is a lot like you know, fight conditioning. You know, you got to you got to get in some. You know, before you can really get yourself in, into the right type of shape and. You know, so we had to play him into shape early in the season, and then we gave him a limited amount of reps. And towards the end of the season, we had taken, you know, the uh, the limitations off of him. And, and I thought he was a great player again. I thought he was, was certainly a great player again. So the fact that I've seen him do it once, twice, you know, to where he's re recovered and rebounded and, and emerged as a great player, I think he can do it again. But we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Kind of 
Coach Mark said that it took about three quarters of the year last year for him to be 100 percent healthy. Um, can, you know, what's the difference in him this this spring than you know last year? What you know what I'm saying? Well, I think it's being 100 percent healthy, and yeah, even though uh, you know the medical staff will clear you, that doesn't mean that you're that you're 100 percent you know in football shape or have 100 percent confidence in it. And there's always a lot of soreness and a lot of things that you have to fight through. But uh, there's a huge difference in him right now compared to the beginning of the season and in the middle of the season. And, and towards the end of the season, he was getting his confidence back. Uh, but uh, he's a whole different guy to me right now. He's running real fast and, he, and, and wide open, and we don't worry about him getting injured when, he, when he's playing football. Uh, he has a lot more confidence uh, in his knee. Uh, he played last year and, and, uh, and, uh, and developed some and got a lot of reps that he really needed last year. That's the one thing that has slowed Robert down a lot. He has really missed a lot of reps throughout his collegiate career. And as the season progressed, he got, got more reps and got more reps, and then he had – a big game against Ohio State, and I thought that was huge for, for his confidence and something that he really needed. He had paid a heck of a price uh, the last couple of years and hadn't had near the success that he would like to have had. So I think he's a lot more confident in his knee. I think the reps that he got uh, throughout the course of the season has, has helped to build his confidence, and his playing time has helped to build his confidence, and I think he's much better now than he has been at any point in time since he's been at Purdue. And how much how much harder does that does that uh, make the decision for you on who goes out to play what what series with quarterbacks? Well, uh, you know, right now we have two quarterbacks that are healthy that are participating in spring, and, and both those guys are are really good players with, with a lot of talent, and uh, some will emerge as a starter, and uh, we plan on playing two quarterbacks. Uh, it's a shame that Rob Henry really isn't in the mix right now from a practice standpoint, but uh, we know a lot about him, and uh, he's a heck of a player, and he'll come back and he'll compete. Uh, to get on the field as a quarterback and also as some other skill positions as well. So we have a plan, and all those guys f fit into our plan. But there is a good, really good competition at the quarterback spot. What did you think of Akeem Shavers this spring? Well, he was out today. He, he had some soreness, and he could have gone. But, again, we don't want to be going live in practice and have uh, someone out there that's tentative in some ways because of uh, you know, sore ribs or, or, or uh, you know, recovering from an injury. So we held – uh, came out of the practice today, but I think he's had a heck of a spring, and you know he also has gained a lot of confidence. And uh, you know, with Ralph going down, Akeem has to has to step up, and he will. He has tremendous numbers. You know.